Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. Just finished off an awesome curry goat with potato. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of requests for stuff in a slow cooker, so that is what I did today. So stay tuned. You're going to want to check this video out, man. And here we've got some ginger, some pimento berries, uh, fresh thyme, onions, scallions, scotch bonnet pepper. I'll talk to you guys about that scotch bonnet pepper in a second. Some garlic. And over here, if you're watching me on Instagram, you would have seen me make this Caribbean green seasoning. It's a combination of all the herbs that I like using in my dishes. It's something very common throughout the Caribbean. And my homemade uh, curry powder here. And two things you will see right away. Uh, well, three things. Uh, first of all, I've got some potato in there, cut up very big. That's going to help to stretch this goat meat for a few more people. Um, there's about three pounds of goat in here and about, uh, I believe, uh, four medium-sized potato. The other thing you will notice is that I'm seasoning it in the sort of insert for the slow cooker. Which means, here's the thing, you don't need to necessarily marinate this overnight because this is going to cook for about five hours. And that will infuse all those flavors directly in there. So this is why I'm affecting too much about seasoning overnight if that is your thing you can certainly do that if you don't want potato in there you can certainly do that as well like leave that out salt black pepper and i'm going to be making this sort of spicy i love a spicy curry goat but you can also lay hold back on the amount of pepper or or um, if you use any sort of pepper altogether then we have here my homemade blend of curry powder you can use your favorite I love the Madras stuff out of the Caribbean and again use your whatever you're comfortable you next up I've got some Caribbean green seasoning and the recipe for that is available on CaribbeanPod.com as well as ChrisDeLaRosa.com a heaping well two heaping tablespoons of that um, and all it is as I mentioned before it is a combination of all the herbs that I like using. So there's going to be thyme in there, there's going to be scallion in there, garlic, um, a bit of spicy pepper, some ginger, seasoning peppers, whatever you like using, that's what we usually do. And I bring it all together with some olive oil. Then here is where things get really interesting. Though I've already, I already have these ingredients in that green seasoning, I still like going in with a bit more. So we've got some scallion, uh, a large onion, one scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up. I'm, I, I chopped it up and I left the seeds and everything because like I said, I love the heat from that. Some more of that fresh thyme, some ginger, the garlic, and the pimento berries. I have a couple more things I want to add in here before we put it. And here's the thing about that scotch bonnet pepper, what I was going to mention to you guys. If you want it, you can keep it whole, float it in there, and then near the end, don't break it fish it out so you'll get some flavor from that but you won't get the raw heat obviously I love the raw heat so this is why I'm doing it this way here's where we're gonna go in with some tomato and that's just some diced tomato that's gonna do a couple of things one is the acidity is gonna help bring everything together and two um, it will help thicken up that gravy later on so all I'm gonna do now is give that a good mix and then we can get started as I said we don't need to marinate this overnight if we don't want to Basically, all you're going to do is put your lid on now. This one here, it just so happens it has a, a clamp on both sides. So I'm just going to clamp that down. And we're going to set that on high um, for five hours. I want this nice and you know, just tender and falling off the bones and everything is going to come together. You will notice I didn't go in with any liquid. I, However, off camera, I did add two tablespoons of water to it. Tip just for there's some liquid on the bottom for everything to start up with. Running out of breath there, boy. Yikes, time to hit the gym. I, uh, anyways, um, this will spring up a lot of its own liquid, so don't fret too much. With 19 minutes left to go, um, what I did was I did stir it once um, a while ago, maybe about two hours ago or something. Um, I don't have the tripod with me right now, so I do apologize for the shaky camera will work but it's falling off the bones at this point what I would recommend you do is taste it for salt 
it's quite a bit of fat on the top there if you want you can spoon that off and discard it just don't toss it down your sink because that can technically clog your pipes like I said 90 minutes to go we'll wrap this up shortly and it is smelling wicked boy I've gone ahead and removed some of the fat making noise are you? I am. <laughs> I've gone ahead and skimmed off some of the fat off the top there. I want to show you guys something. <laughs> Imagine that. This is all fat. So a goat can be pretty fatty. And that little dog just shut its mouth. But please, I beg you, skim off most of that fat. Because that stuff there, that is no good for you. Remember, don't toss it down your sink though. Or you'll have a good plumbing bill waiting for you. Yeah, five hours later and you're gonna get the most amazing tender fall off the bone. Let's look at that. Uh, curry goat you've ever had, nice big chunks of potato and that is why I added the potato and big chunks in there. The greenery that you're seeing there is a bit of um, cilantro <laughs> that, I, that I chopped up and put in there. Five hours, can't go wrong, you really kind of like set it and forget it so I do hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Give it a try. Remember to hit me up on Instagram at Caribbean Pot. Remember to fish out those pimento berries and discard that. You ain't really trying to bite into one of those things there. It's done its purpose. And remember to get goat meat with bones. You'll get a ton more flavor out of that. As always, a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Yo, take it easy, eh? My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.